Alright hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. Now in this week's video, we're going to be upgrading one of my planted aquariums with a brand new aquarium light from Hyger. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Hyger, the box right here, HG957. So the light we're going to be checking out today is Hyger's new full spectrum smart aquarium light. Um, it is a full spectrum light, as I mentioned, which means it is basically optimized for planted aquariums. And it has a little built-in timer, which will automatically run a couple preset programs. You can change the color of the light, stuff like that, all from the unit itself without having to have an external timer, which with typical aquarium lights is something you have to purchase separately. So without further ado, let's go ahead and swing on over to an unboxing and check out what this light comes with. So it comes in this nice brown box with some pictures on the front. I'm actually covering up the shipping label, obviously. A quick list of some of the product features. You can go ahead and read over these. However, as I mentioned, the most prominent feature we're here for is the full spectrum capabilities of this light, as well as that built-in programmable timer. Um, but without further ado, let's just open this guy right on up. Pretty simple packaging, not too much going on here. This little white box is gonna be the power adapter, and then obviously we have the light right here. And cannot forget about the owner's manual, of course. But with everything out of the box, you can see it a little bit better. The light does have those brackets built in right there. I did notice this light was a little thicker than I expected. It is a little bigger than I thought it would be. But regardless, there are the little LEDs on the bottom, screen there on the left. We're just going to go ahead and plug this right on in. And as soon as we plug in that adapter, it should power right on up. Now, the first thing it's going to have me do is use these arrows right here to set my local time. Pretty easy. Just going to tap the up arrow until I get to my time, press settings, and then go ahead and set the minutes. Setting the time was super, super simple. Now, it does already come preset with on and off times for the automatic schedule. However, we are going to probably want to change those. So let's start with that. So what you see me doing here is setting the on and the off times for the automatic light cycle, if that makes sense. And from here, the light will do the rest. It will ramp up like a sunset in the morning and it will ramp down to turn off at night. You're also gonna see me here in a second turn on the moonlight mode, which I'll show you in a little bit more, you know, in depth later, uh, show you what that looks like. Similar process, I'm just pressing the gear icon, pressing and holding to edit the time, choosing an on time with the arrows, pressing the settings button again, and then choosing an off time. It's pretty easy to set up if you wanna stick with the automatic mode. There's also the option to actually adjust the light brightness. So you see just by pressing the arrows, you can go ahead and make the light brighter or dimmer, you know, whatever you want. And then also by pressing the light bulb, you can choose between one of, I believe, seven colors. Now you can't have the colors automatically set up in the automatic mode. However, at any time, you can just manually press the light button and change it to whatever color you want. So I chose to install this light on my 15 gallon column planet aquarium. As you can see, it just sits right up here under the hood. Now this tank already kind of has its own light built in, which is what made installation a little bit weird for me. As you can see though, it just sits on these brackets inside the tank. The hood closes and there's no problem. Here it is set up. The light color temperature is a little bit different than what I'm used to compared to the lights that came with the tank and the other LEDs I was using. Um, but it seems to make the colors look pretty good, the fish look good, the plants look good, and overall I think the light's going to work, you know, pretty good for this aquarium. I have it set at around 70% right now just because it is so bright. This is a column tank though, so the light spread um, is going to be a little bit different. You notice here that the back of the tank is a little dimmer than the front of the tank, and that's just because the way this hood is set up, I have to keep the new light very forward on the tank. Ideally, you would have it centered over the aquarium. However, that's not really an option for me just based off how the hood is. Regardless though, we're gonna give it a few days and see how things go. And as the tank ramped down for the night, I thought I would go ahead and show off the moonlight mode and this is what that looks like. So it's actually the next day. The light obviously went ahead and turned on this morning and is currently still on, but I do just wanna go ahead and point something out that I find a little annoying. So in the automatic mode, no matter what brightness level you actually set the light to, it's always gonna come on back at 100% the next day. That's a little frustrating. Luckily, there is a way to create a customized setting where basically instead of going with the automatic program, you'll enter specific brightnesses for eight different points during the day and you can kind of create your own sunrise, create your own sunset. Um, that's a way to get around this. However, personally in the automatic mode, I wish there was a way to just set the light maximum brightness to be say 80%. So that's one gripe is the programming is a little bit weird with this light. You have to read through the instruction manual a few times to get used to it. Um, but if you really want to take the time to create your own custom schedule, luckily that is an option. I haven't quite dug that deep into it yet. I really like the automatic mode just for the simplicity of it. But if you really do want to get crazy and customize it, like I mentioned, is an option. It just isn't quite as convenient and easy as I would expect. 
And here we are back where we started where I want to go ahead and give my final thoughts on this aquarium light. So as you saw me mention in the beginning of the video, it is a little bit bigger than I expected. This is the smaller of the, I believe there's four sizes, you know, depending on how long your aquarium is, you can obviously get a light to suit your sized aquarium. Now because I'm setting this up on that 15 gallon combo tank, or if that's the tank it is set up on, um, it's a very narrow square top tank, so I did have to get the smaller one. Now despite it being super small, it is quite thick. Um, so if you do have a hood in your aquarium like I do, I would definitely recommend double checking clearances to make sure that this thing will fit correctly in your aquarium. Uh, just because on mine, as you saw in insulation, it had to be scooted pretty far forward to allow the hood to close. Now the next thing I noticed is that the color temperature is just a little bit different from what I was used to. Um, throughout the video, you can probably notice that the tank looks a little bit orange. Almost, it's just a little bit warmer of a color spectrum than I'm used to. However, that's just part of the full spectrum package. Basically, all those colors come together to create one of the perfect spectrums um, to grow aquatic plants. So that's why the color temperature looks a little bit different than the lights I previously had, which were simply just blue LEDs or white LEDs um, made to make the fish in the tank look pretty instead of focusing on growing plants. Now, as you also heard me talk about a little bit, the programming is very easy if you stick to the automatic mode. Now, I've talked about the automatic mode pretty much through the whole video. It's very basic, but it's literally plug and play. That's one thing I liked about this light. You literally plug it in, you set the time, and it does its thing. Now you can get technical, but that's honestly one of the faults of this light, is that actually programming your own settings is a little bit difficult. The buttons aren't super responsive most of the time, which I guess is good, you know, so you don't like accidentally change a setting. But I do wish there was a better way to kind of program a manual cycle in to this light. Now, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if it was a little difficult because it could be, you know, one and done kind of scenario. But another issue I have with this light is that when you unplug it, all of the settings are lost. The memory is lost. So if there's a power outage for, you know, over five minutes-ish, you're gonna have to go through and reprogram the light. Now, honestly, the fact that the light is even programmable in the first place is great because that is just something a lot of aquarium lights don't offer, but it definitely comes with some drawbacks. And honestly, a huge pro for this light, in my opinion, is the price. It is a very, very affordable light, and you're honestly not gonna be able to find a light with this many features for the price that this light is. Um, I'll actually have a link down in the description below if you wanna check out some of the different sizes. I believe it was only like 30 bucks for this size aquarium light, which is really, really good considering the timer's built in. Um, but I do have a special offer for you guys. If you guys use the link in my description and enter the code CHEWIESBRO, which I'll also leave in the description, you can get 15% off this aquarium light as well as all of the other products on that website you'll see down below. Just like Amazon, of course, you're always gonna get that free shipping too, so do not worry about that. Um, but I'd highly recommend honestly checking out this light if you want an easy beginner proof light plug and play In fact if you're gonna be using the automatic setting for this light It really can't get any simpler and I definitely recommend it if you just want a no frills cheap low budget planted aquarium light This is definitely something I would consider but that is gonna be it for the review on this high girl aquarium light If you have any questions about this light or any other aquarium lights go ahead and leave them down in the comments below I've definitely had quite a few aquarium lights uh, throughout my aquarium career if you will and there's definitely things I like and dislike about pretty much all of them So if you have a specific light you're looking at let me down in the comments below once again Thank you guys so much for watching and good. Bye